Brevo Shopify integration tutorial. In this video, we're going to be talking about Brevo and how you're going to connect this amazing and incredible email marketing software to your Shopify. Now to start things off, what you are going to be doing is you're going to make sure to have a fully accessible Shopify account and a fully accessible Brevo account. Now, once you have both of these accounts, what we're going to be doing from here is we're going to go over to our Shopify application and over here, what you're going to do is you're going to click on add apps in the dashboard. Now, once you click on add apps in the dashboard, we're going to come to Shopify app store straight away. And once you go over to your Shopify app store over here, what's going to happen is you're going to search up Brevo. Okay. So once you search up Brevo, it's going to basically give you the correct integration that goes and connects to Brevo. All right. So once you write Brevo in here, you have things like push out and Brevo email push. Uh, you can also go with Brevo send in blue by combi desk, but the main connection is obviously the push out connection. Now, you're also going to make sure that your Brevo is fully set it up because if it's not, you won't be able to integrate. So once you've set it everything up, you're going to come over to your app store. Here we have the push owl and Brevo email push. Now, the best part about push owl is that it's totally free. Okay. It has a free plan that you can go with, which has unlimited subscribers, 500 push notifications, 500 emails. You can sync all of your data and get great templates for your email push. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on download. And once you click on download, it loads you through the request grant. Now what it's going to do is it's going to ask you for confirmation if you actually want to install it. And once we give it the authority, it's going to install our push owl and brevo integration into our store so once it's done with that it's going to say boost subscribers with push owls omni channel strategy and it says also upload your store's logo so i'm going to go ahead and do that real quick and once we have uploaded our store's logo we're going to continue further on so here's my store logo i'm going to continue with this okay then it says tell us more about your awesome brand so i'm going to go with apparel what do you sell? I'm going to go with hoodies. Okay. Then it says, choose your preferred language. I'm going to go with English and click on next. Here it says, what do you want to set up first? So either a web push where you can target anonymous subscribers with your emails, or you can target known subscribers collected via opt in. Okay. So it depends on what you want to go with. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with email because it's a more, you could say fun uh, feature to start off with. So once you do this, you're going to make sure to enable your app theme extension. Now to enable your app theme extension, what you're going to do is you're going to go into your Shopify store editor. Now, as you can see, our Shopify store editor has opened up and here in the app embed section, you're going to make sure that this is switched on. So once it's switched on, it's going to bring you to push owls, basic dashboard. All right. Now in push owls, basic dashboard, what you're going to do to actually connect things in is that you're going to set up an email. Okay. So let's say I'm going to go to email first. Okay. We're going to get into the web push later. Now, once you come to email, what you're going to do is you're going to click on next here. It says premier support and optimal pricing is also provided. And here we have our store details. I'm going to go ahead and verify the store details. And here, as you can see, it's going to let you know if the verification has gone through or if it has failed. So, if it has failed, you can contact the support because normally it does ask for your Shopify stores email verification. But apart from all of that, once you're done, you're pretty much, you know, set to go from there. So once you have set it everything up for yourself from here, you can see your basic dashboard where you can see the revenue generated through the pushes and emails. You can see the total campaigns, impressions counted, etc. Now, the best part about push out is that it's created by Brevo. Okay. And what you can do is you can easily send in campaigns choosing your Brevo. So once we are here on campaigns, you can come here and click on create campaign. Now, once you come to create campaign here, it's going to ask you campaign details. So do you want to send it now? Do you want to schedule it for later? What type of campaign do you want? A regular or a flash sale, which basically has an expiry on it. Now I'm going to go with a regular campaign and I'm going to go with send now. You're going to choose your segment. Okay. So we're going to create a new segment. Segment is basically a category of contacts. Okay. So let's say I want to send this to people who want, uh, let's say my winter sale clothes. So I can call this 
winter sale. Okay, this is a segment. Now, once you've done that, you're simply going to go ahead and click on create segment. And once you click on create segment, this basically creates your segment and sets it up. Now, once your segment is created, you're going to make people subscribe to it. And you can also see the different keyword names that you can keep for your segments. I'm going to skip all that. I'm going to go into create campaign. We're going to choose our segment. So I'm going to go with the winter sale. And then once you do that, you can also turn on smart delivery where you can personalize the delivery time of your campaign for each subscriber. Okay. But I'm going to skip that. I'm going to click on continue. And this is where the fun part starts. This is where you can actually start creating a campaign template. So let's say I'm going to go ahead and enter a catchy title like winter sale is okay. We're going to go ahead and write that in. Once you do that, you can also leave a message like um, avail this offer right now. Okay. We're going to enter that in. Then it also gives you a primary link. So where is this supposed to take you? Obviously, I'm going to make this take me to my online store. Okay, so I'm going to open up my online store. I'm going to copy the link off of that and we're going to paste that URL over here. Then you can also enter a discount code if you want to. Uh, I'm going to skip that. I don't really want to add a discount code right now. So. I'm simply going to go over to upload image and I'm going to upload the necessary images that I want to, to, you know, actually portray my campaign. You know, what is my campaign actually about? What am I selling to the people? So you're going to add that right here. So I'm going to go ahead and choose a uh, picture of a hoodie that I'm willing to sell. So let's say I'm going to go with one of these. Let's go with this one. Okay, let's go with this. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to upload the image. You're going to make sure that the pixels are followed. So it wants a 728 by 360 pixel image. So you're going to make sure the pixels are followed because if they aren't, the image won't upload. So let's say I'm going to add this image over here. And once your image is added, it's going to be available and portrayed in the bottom section over here. You can also add different buttons and logos if you want to. So once you have done that, you can also create a basic, you could say, push from a template. And you can also see the different views. So here's the Windows 10 view, here's the Android view, here's the iOS view, and here's the Mac view. So, you know, this is the best part about Push Owl is that it actually gives you different, you know, perspectives for people to see. And you can edit different perspectives as you want. You can also create this whole new thing from a template. So let's say Ultimate Clearance Sale, look at that it switches it to that in a flash. Okay. So once this is done, what you're going to do is you're going to click on continue. And once everything is good to go, simply click on send. Okay. And make sure that you have subscribers in your segment. And once you send this out, this will start your campaigning journey through push out or Brevo. And moving on, what you can further on do is you can also use this for SMS. Okay, so you can do SMS marketing, you can do email marketing, and then you can bring in web pushes for yourselves. So these are different things that you're going to want to have. And uh, it basically helps you out a lot, you know, um, going ahead and marketing directly through your Shopify. That's a pretty incredible feature to get. And this is how you're going to be integrating your Brevo to your Shopify in the easiest and most simplest way. So yeah, that's pretty much all there is for this video. Now, if you enjoyed watching, drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. If you want more details about this, let me know down in the comments below and I'll let you know. Till then, that is all from me. Thank you for watching all the way till the end and I'll see all of you in the next video. Have a great day. Goodbye.